And just so I'm going to show you some RPM settings for the variable speed pump at this pool. This is a 15,000 gallon pool, so I'm going to go over some of the settings and how long you should run the pool to get the pool through one cycle. And one cycle simply means all the water in the pool is going to pass through the filter one time per day. And I'm using the Jandy IQ Pump 01 in this video to show you the different RPM settings. The best way to set your runtime and RPMs on your variable speed pump is to install a flow meter like this FlowViz here. That way you know exactly how many gallons per minute is moving through the pool at the set RPM. And your standard single speed 1.5 horsepower pump is running at about 3400 RPMs, which translates into about 2100 watts, which is about 2.139 kilowatt hours. Here's the pump running at 3400 RPM. You see that it's producing about 1400 watts per hour. Pumping 50 gallons per minute. You can see at 2400 RPM, we've got 476 watts. Pumping about 45 gallons per minute. You can see at 1400 RPM, it's 130 watts. And at 1400 RPM, it's pumping about 30 gallons per minute. That's a quick look at setting the RPM and runtime on your variable speed pump. So running your variable speed pump at a lower RPM can save you a significant amount of money on your electricity costs every year.